If you guys like couples gaming channels, then click the link down below. We play Sims over there too, and we would love to see you there. Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to another mod video. So this one is super duper exciting. This is Mods for Realism and Better Gameplay in 2019 and I've been super excited to share this with you guys because if you guys have been watching my channel since, I don't know, like quite a while, I guess. I haven't done one in a little while. <laughs> uh, I love to do just videos that show you guys a bunch of mods that I'm loving at the moment um, or like my top mods and just stuff like that. So I did uh, a few of those in 2018 and now that we're in 2019, I thought I would go ahead and do another one because there is a couple new mods that I've been using very regularly and then, you know, some of them I may have shown in previous videos, but this is just basically 12 mods that I am loving right now and using so much for realism and better gameplay. So um, these two sims look adorable right here. I just had to start off on them. <laughs> we have a random family here, just a random sim. They're not even a family. Uh, the, the He's randomly generated. He's one of their kids. So is she. I don't know why her hair is blonde, but you know, the, the adult sims I created, um, just not the teen and the child. <laughs> and then the house, if you guys are wondering before we get into this, sorry, I just have to show you guys because I always get questions. If you guys are wondering where the house is from, it is right here um, on the gallery. Uh, just this is creator. This is the creator right here. So if you guys would like this house in your game, that's where you can find it. This is what it's called Industrial Springs. So, anyways, let's jump right in. So, the first mod is the Slice of Life mod. I am obsessed with this mod, maybe even a little addicted. That's probably a little extreme, but I love it so incredibly much. Okay, so with the slice of life mod, basically what it does is adds just life to your sims. So I don't know, I mean, they'll probably experience something. We have to let them start doing things because it kind of like happens randomly. Um, you'll just see random moodlets pop up. I'm just going to have them start doing stuff and hopefully we will see something happen. He's going to make some fruit salad. Uh, but yeah, pretty much like just a little rundown. I've done like a video on it, but a little rundown is like they can get, the, the teens can get acne, um, they have to brush their teeth. <laughs> um, when your sims are pregnant, they will, like the baby will kick and they'll get a little mood lit. It's so cool. So, so cool. Okay, so we're having some things happen here. Sorry, just like the camera just flew. <laughs> Another thing is when they feel emotions, they'll get like their face will change. So if you guys can see here, she has red cheeks because she's flirty. So that's super exciting. And okay, so this is another thing that I could do then to try to show you guys some of the little things with the mod, but there's so much to it. Like as far as like big things, which to me is the mood. It's like, I'm just obsessed with that. Um, your, your kids can lose teeth and they legit lose teeth. Um, so like your sins will have their missing front teeth and they'll get a little mood that they lost a tooth. Obviously I can't make those things happen. It just happens like gradually, but it is so cool. Okay. What we're doing um mc command um another thing is it gives you a better phone which i'll show you guys so mc cheats we're gonna change her mood which i feel kind of bad but we're gonna make her sad and she should go ahead and get teary eyes so that should happen um yep there we go so you can see the little tears in her eyes isn't that cool so she just like legit looks sad you can see her eyes they look like they're filled with water and yeah so that's super cool they just get different you know just things all over their face if they get into a fight they do get a bruised face so i can show that off as well and your sims can get drunk too so we should probably grab a bar um this is one of the bigger mods so um this one is going to take a little longer to show off but you guys can totally skip if you already have this mod in your game or whatever um just for those people who do not have it in their game i want to make sure i show it um so let's just grab this we could put it in the backyard and just have a sim drink so if you guys watch my let's plays if you watch my videos then you may have seen this a lot um but if you have not we're just gonna have him make his favorite drink and it should affect him in some way um so yeah um she she's all good <laughs> so while he does that we're gonna move on to the second one 
Oh, actually, before we do that, one last thing. The better, oh my God, <laughs> the better phone thing. So let's see. So you'll see this here, um, slice of life. That's what that stands for, phone. And then there's apps, play game, my first language, meet a producer, mama's kitchen, multi-coon, let's draw, fishing simulator, plan a social event, virtual puppy, virtual baby, and poker wars. And then you can ask on date through here as well. Um, okay, we have the welcome wagon. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's fine. Um, some of them could just meet them, I guess. That is cool. Um, I don't even know where he's going, but yeah, so that's really cool. So the second mod is the Meaningful Stories mod. So um, this is really cool as well. I believe actually she's feeling something from it. So, okay. Um, lingering sadness. So this is from the meaningful stories mod. Negative thoughts aren't always easy to shake off. So I don't know if something came up here, um, to, that I can kind of read to you guys about the mod or not. Okay. It doesn't look like it, but usually something will pop up. So, um, they're also flirty and it's going to last 12 hours, which seems a little longer than usual. Oh, and now he has this lingering flirtiness. Kyle is still in the mood. So, <laughs> um, basically this mod, um, makes your Sims emotions more meaningful, makes life more meaningful. Everything affects them a little bit more than it usually would. So that is super duper cool. Like everything, like if a Sim dies, it could affect them for eight days instead of just like two or four days. I think it usually affects them for, um, and, and stuff like that. So I think that is super duper cool. So, um, what we can do is we can actually have the siblings get into a little argument and see if that affects them a little bit more. Um, let's argue, argue about school, and then let's have them argue, argue who's about who's better. There is that. Um, if anything else happens to them, I'll kind of like mention it to you guys and show you guys that that is from the mod. The next one is the ultrasound mod. So I have to quickly get us in pregnant for this, which is totally fine. Um, that is no problem. We'll get her pregnant, I guess. Okay, so something else that is happening because of the Meaningful Stories mod, it says, Alessandra is feeling particularly emotional right now due to stronger moodlet from their emotional trait. So, um, she is angry from a sore back and usually my sims actually do not get angry from sore backs usually they get uncomfortable so i like that so it definitely is affecting her differently and i'm trying to see if she's pregnant but everyone wants to use this bathroom so you know <laughs> All right, so another thing that is happening from the Slice of Life mod is baby fever. Aurora seems to have baby fever. I think it's time to add a new member to the family, which I think is so cool. So she actually failed to conceive and I kind of just removed those mood lists because then it wasn't letting her try again because she was too sad. So we're trying to get her pregnant so I can show you guys the ultrasound mod. Okay, guys, so she is pregnant and the Slice of Life mod actually gave it away. So she's having a baby kick. Alessandra definitely felt that. It is a bit painful, but it's great to know the baby is alive and well. So that is super duper cool. So now we're going to go ahead and just stick her into the second trimester so that we can have her go to get an ultrasound, which is so cool. So she, we're going to put her in the second trimester. There we go. She's got a little belly. Um, okay, so now we're with this mod, you can just go onto the phone and you just go right here. It's under the car and she can go to her appointment and she can bring her whoever it is, whether it's the boyfriend, husband or anything, um, just whoever the significant other is, they can come with you. So that's pretty cool. And they are off to get an ultrasound. I love how this works, you guys. I have been wanting to put this mod in my game for so long and now I'm never taking it out. So I've known what it is for the longest time, but I recently put it in my game and now I feel like I'm definitely going to be using it for every single sim pregnancy because it's just so good and it adds so much realism and better gameplay. I am obsessed with it. Okay, you guys, so they're back and you get a moodlet from this mod. Exciting news. It is exciting to find out the gender and number of the upcoming offspring. Now this, now it's the setting it up and decorating of the nursery can begin. So this is super cool because it allows you to, you know, have this whole kind of somewhat detailed pregnancy because I feel like pregnancy, like, you know, there's not, I don't know. It doesn't really add much for your Sims. Like there's no things you can do while you're pregnant, like specifically to pregnancy. But now you can go get an ultrasound. They can find out the gender of their baby, have this cute little ultrasound on the wall, and then you can start setting up the nursery. And it's like this little process. I love it. So if you hover over, it will tell you, um, the, 
basically she is pregnant with one baby and it will most likely be a girl. So yeah, that is awesome. I don't know if this means there's a chance it could be a boy, but I did see an MC Command Center. It is most definitely a girl. Um, so yeah, I think that is super duper cool. It's one of my favorite mods now. I love it so much. Okay, you guys, so I just sped through the night so that it could be morning and to go hand in hand with the ultrasound mod, I'm also going to show you guys the baby shower mod. So a lot of people think this doesn't work anymore or they don't know where to find it. But so Britt Pinky Sims did create this mod and she doesn't update her mods anymore, sadly. It's so sad because she was an amazing mod creator, but... There is someone who basically updated the mod and it does still work. So that's awesome. And I've had it in my game for a while and it's always something that definitely adds realism because I mean, it's a baby shower. You know, your Sims pregnant. They can get their ultrasound. They can find out the gender of the baby, how many babies they can have a baby shower. And you could also use this as a gender reveal, which I'm going to be doing soon in one of my let's plays. So yeah, you could also do like a gender reveal type thing, which would be cool. Um, so yeah, basically you can pick a host like normal. So let's do that. And then we'll just have the guests be, oh, oops. <laughs> we'll just have the guests be the family because, you know, it's enough Sims to basically test this out and you can still get a caterer and all of that. So that is pretty cool. And basically we can just have it at the house or you can have it somewhere else, wherever you want to have it. And I know we already started the event, but for the sake of the mod review, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Um, basically there is different things that come with this. So there is different, you know, items you can place down that kind of give it that baby shower feel so we have signs and they're so cute they're so so cute like oh look at look at these aren't they adorable um okay so this says it's a girl we're having a girl so we're gonna just stick that there then there's one for the wall which we can't see but it's the same thing and then there's presents you guys uh so that's super cute too and there's all this different cute wrapping paper there is cards which i absolutely love um so there's like adorable cute cards and they're just like super well done look at that <laughs> and then little balloons and i mean that's always cute very fitting uh we'll just stick these inside anywhere uh there we go <laughs> and then there's like a little banner you know you guys get it and then there's a table which obviously you could put the presents on which is very fitting so there you go. So that is so cute. There's also this banner here, um, same type of deal. So yeah, that's cute. And you have little tasks so you can take photos, share big news and view greeting cards. So, you know, it works like any other event, you know, you can just view the cards, you can share the big news with people, which is awesome. So, and then you can just thank for coming like usual and all of that. So this just works like a normal event event. Um, but it's so stinking cute. So we're going to like, we suck. We're going to cancel this event. Like, wow. But you know, <laughs> um, got to go to the next mod and yeah, I can't wait to use that soon. Um, and like I said, you could totally you do that as a gender reveal as well. So the next mod is the explore mod. So this is still by far one of my favorites. I've mentioned this before, but I love it so much. So if you click on a sim, you'll see the little icon called explore when you download this mod and for, okay. So the mod's been updated and basically now, okay, we won't have her go since she's pregnant. Let's have you go. I guess. Um, so basically we're going to send her, you can't just explore anymore. You need to go get your license or you can get like a bus pass. So I think I'll be able to see that with the teenagers. We could have him go get a bus pass. So if you, oh, 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 we're flopping. <laughs> um, services, you can get a transportation bus center pass. So that's super cool. The kids can as well. Oh, and then another thing with the um, Meaningful Stories mod, um, you guys might notice there's a little Roberky thing here and that's just the Meaningful Stories and there's all these different settings. So you can change things however you want, which is super duper nice. All right, you guys. So she is back from exploring and now she has her license. So now once you do that, it basically opens up all of this. So I like this because we don't have cars and it just like adds a little thing. It makes it kind of just in your head. It makes it kind of feel like your Sims are driving to places. So there is 
a million places to go. The possibilities are endless and you may not like this if you're the type of person who wants to go with your sim everywhere, but especially if you're a Sims 3 player, you might really like this because in The Sims 3, there was a whole rabbit hole thing, which means your sims just disappear on the lot, but things happen when they're gone. So it makes it seem like they're actually there. And what I like this for is if I have a family of multiple sims, then I can send a sim off to do something if you know I'm not really playing with them at the moment and they can come back with food they can come back with a facial done with their nails done their hair done they can just all a whole bunch of stuff um they can even like go to the toy store and come back with toys I think that's really cool and then for the kids um the kids are at school so I'll show you guys after but you know you can send them to the park and they'll get fun and stuff like that you can send them to the library to study and they'll work on their homework uh, like away from home so I actually think it's really really cool and you'll probably notice that it actually is really beneficial to have if you have a family, even with just two sims, you know, um, if you have a single mom, a single dad sim, whatever the case may be. So one of the cool ones is takeout. So I'm going to have her go do that. So look at all the places, snappy hot dogs, roly poly donut shop. These names are so creative. There's ice cream shops, pizza places, hamburgers. Um, let's actually, let me show you guys a couple of the other things. So education, you can go to different classes and learn skills, which I think is another reason this is very worth it. Um, so yeah, I just think that's really cool. <laughs> Childbirth education, blah, 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 education class. How great is that for the pregnant sims? Another thing for the pregnant sims. I think that's super duper great. There's temporary, temporary work, which is also very nice. You can pick a certain amount of hours if your sims need to make it a little extra cash for whatever reason. Attractions. You can go to the cinema, which was something in the Sims 3 where you couldn't go with them, but it was so cool because you know, they got an experience. They got a mood lit after they, you know, it was nice. And you know, there's an arcade, a comedy club, ice cream shop. There's a gym. You, I believe your Sims earn fitness without you having to go with them. Cause sometimes the gym can be kind of boring if you have other Sims that you'd rather be doing other things with. And you're just waiting for your Sim to work out for like ever. <laughs> Bowling, the zoo, which this also gives you a little mood lit, which is nice. And there's hiking. So many things you guys. Um, so yeah. And you can also explore with so you can explore with people, which is very nice. You can, and then guys, the guys, 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 you can go on vacation. And this is great if you have a big family and maybe the parents want a little vacation or something like that. I don't know, but you can go to Disney Llama World, <laughs> the Royal Caribbean Cruise, South La Llama Beach and Jurassic Plumba Park. But anyways, we are all over the place. Uh, you can also go on a date through that. So that's cool. But we are going to have her go get takeout so she can come back with food. We're going to have her go to the donut shop. So she should come back with some donuts. So that's really cool. Now that I basically like showed you guys how that mod works. Also on Halloween, you can have your Sims go trick or treating, which is adorable. And they come back with candy. So that's very nice since it's very sad that your Sims can't actually go trick or treating in the Sims 4. So the next one is the pool party mod. So I'm about to destroy the backyard <laughs> because I don't want to leave because I'm just going to have to come back and we're going to be all over the place. So uh, we're just going to destroy the backyard. Not really destroy it, but uh, we're going to we're going to delete some things. So I'm going to build a quick random pool and then I'll be back. Okay, you guys. So if you go into create a sim, you're going to see the pool party mod and we need pool parties. The reason I say this adds to realism and gameplay, I mean, obviously this video is on both, whether it's one or the other, but this adds both to me because now that we have seasons, it's very, very realistic to have pool parties. Like it's hot out. We need like an event where Sims will want to go swimming and stuff in the heat and just have fun in the pool. And we don't have that. So yeah. And then obviously this adds to gameplay. It's great. So we're just going to go ahead and invite all the household members to the pool party. Wow. How lame. And then we'll have her be the host. So we're just going to have it at the house and yep, skip school. <laughs> so this is what I have to do when I like put a bunch of mods in videos. Why do I do this? But it's so much fun. Mod, mod videos are so much fun. Like a bunch of mods in one video. That's fun. I love mods i have a problem um they're just so fun because like it's so fun to experiment with them and everything like that just experience new things so anyways oh and look who's home with food so she came home with blah, 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 blah. <laughs> she came home with food from the explore mod and now she has donuts you guys so we're gonna put these out for the pool party how cool is that you can go pick up food for the pool party or you can barbecue which is very fitting but as you can see two sims just jumped in the pool right away which i think is super awesome so we're just gonna have them 
all kind of get in just to kind of set the vibe. They don't always all get in, uh, but you know, <laughs> uh, two Sims got in, which is nice. So basically you have different goals, like have drinks, have Sims become playful at the same time, have Sims chatting at the same time. And then the main goal is to socialize with the guests. So yeah, I think the whole like having drinks is very, very fitting when it comes to a pool party. So that's nice. Um, let's see. We're just going to make drinks and we're going to make drink four and we're going to make a drink for Aurora. We're going to just make a drink for some Sims, you know, um, that girl's pregnant, but you know what? It's the Sims. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to get pre uh, drunk. That's a little weird because of the slice of life mod that would not be good, but it's okay. It's the Sims. It doesn't affect them that way. Okay. They're the only Sims that can have a drink anyways. So he's going to go and do that. Uh, we're not going to do this whole event, but we'll leave it for a little bit and hopefully get some of the tasks done so you guys can kind of see. So, um, like, you know, if they socialize, um, I don't know if splashing counts. I doubt it, but tell an engaging story. Oh, so here we go. Have Sims chatting at the same time. So that's going up, but yeah, it really does give off the, give off the vibe of a pool party when you have more sims than this of course i did do a video on it if you guys want to see like a more full effect on it um i do i've done videos about a lot of these mods separately if you guys just search like fantasia and then the name of the mod you're gonna see it if you're interested in like a full review on each individual mod um i've done ones on most of them i even did one on the baby shower mod a long time ago so if you type fantasia baby shower mod it definitely will come up so yeah, there's the pool party mod. Again, if you have like a ton of people, it definitely works nicer. But as you guys saw, Sims got in the pool right away and you can have everyone just hanging out in the backyard. And how cool would this be if you invited over like the whole neighborhood? You had like 20 Sims back here. I think that would look so cool. Um, so anyways, moving on to the next one. The next one is Road to Fame. So I'm including this because I mean, it's not a new mod. I feel like most of us know what Road to Fame is, but you know, this is all about the mods that I feel like, um, enhance my gameplay and make it more realistic, you know, and this is one of them. I just feel like this mod is by far one of the best mods ever. So it keeps getting better. If you guys are iffy about this mod and you don't have it, I promise you it's so worth it. Sacrificial keeps adding updates. I remember when it was so, such a like smaller mod it was always a big mod because i always added a lot but like so much smaller and it's just like evolved like now not only do we have simstagram but we have acting we have modeling and we have professional singing and i think that is so cool and now we do have get famous but this is a little bit different like you know it just it adds different things for you so obviously as you um do stuff it'll unlock more things so right now like she has nothing but if you guys watch my single dad life let's play there is a lot of things you can unlock and it's very cool um and with modeling like you can right now just mods uh browse bottle blah, 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 browse modeling poses but you can do crazy things with it there, there ends up being like fresh breast spray and like literally pills you can take um that are very bad for your sim and can affect them in bad ways if you want to change your body type because like you're a model and everything like that it's like super extreme <laughs> um just so many different things that it comes with and professional singing is really really cool i really like that one because you can upload to simlish cloud and everything which is very very cool so she's she gets moodlets too learning from the best look at these swifty poses so that's always cool but yeah as you progress so many things unlock um and you can get um, um, gifts from your fans. You can obviously get followers from the Simstagram. You can get paparazzi following you around. You can um, do meet and greets. So many different things, you guys. It is so cool. There's just, she she's singing like the itsy busy spider <laughs> but yeah i see you can write song lyrics but so many more things unlocked that i can't even show you guys because obviously she's not there yet but you can post a picture from phone but you'll eventually be able to like reply to comments and all this cool stuff it is so cool it is so realistic and so fun so yeah i love that right now she can just check out attractiveness but yeah as i said as she goes along so many things unlock for modeling so that's road to fame uh, you, you can just gain a lot from it. Oh, and there is a skill. So she has professional singing skill, which is different from the singing skill, like the regular singing skill. So that's cool. And then, you know, you can level her up to like level five or something. That's the max. And 
Um, I don't know if more things will, yeah. So now she can respond to comments. She can record a video, all these different things. She can check her followers. So that is awesome. And yeah, you can become like famous from this, which is so cool. Okay, you guys, so the next one is MC Command Center, which I've mentioned many, many times, but it is still on my list. So if those of you guys wonder if I still use it, I do, and I use it all the time. And if you guys are ever wondering if you should have it in your game, I definitely recommend it if you like to be able to control things more <laughs> or if you want just more realistic things when it comes to pregnancy and woohooing and all of that. So there's a pregnancy setting. Okay, we're on the guy, so I don't really think we can do much there. Let's go to her. She's really mad. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, okay, um, MC command. So, like pregnancy, it'll tell you if she's pregnant, how many, and stuff like that. If you don't want the ultrasound mod, that's convenient. Um, and oh, also, you can go onto the computer. Let's do that quickly. Oh, by the way, you guys, the slice, the slice of Life mod, Kristen is drunk, so, uh, yeah, and she's angry, so that's affecting her all different ways. But yeah, you can go onto the computer here, and then you'll also see Woohooer, which is pretty much my favorite thing. One of my favorite things, which seems like so weird, but the reason I like it so much is because there's Woohoo actions, and you can allow teens, which enables me to do teen pregnancy storylines and stuff like that, which you all might know my series The Hookup and I definitely need this for that and I've used it for many other things and things like that and this just adds to like realism and just more to your gameplay. You can do no strings woohoo which again adds to gameplay you know something happened one night there was an unexpected pregnancy they're not in a relationship or anything for that or anything like that so yeah um allow families kind of weird but you know do what you want to do <laughs> and then um you can also do a pregnancy and you can do risky woohoo which I am obsessed with because I really like the idea of not full out trying for a baby and being able to do risky woohoo like it is in real life. It just it makes more sense because then you have a 50-50 chance of getting pregnant or you can set it to whatever you want. So you can set this to whatever you want. I have it on 50, but you don't have to. So yeah, you can do whatever you want. Um, you can also use fertility in risky, try for baby percent. You can change that. So that's also nice. Um, yeah. And um, there's just so many settings. It is insane. You can do woohoo reactions. Well, there's all these things. <laughs> so there's that. And then another thing that is very convenient, uh, this really doesn't have to do with like realism, but I want to show it to you guys because I use it so much. So if you you know, want your sim to feel a certain emotion for your gameplay, something's happening, you're doing a storyline, you can go in here and change your sim's mood to whatever you want. This is nice if you film videos, but even if you don't, you're just trying to make a storyline like come to life, you know, you can change your sim's mood to whatever you want and it's perfect. I use this a lot. Another thing that's great is the skill cheats and um, she doesn't have a job, but usually you can do, um, promote them in their career, which is really nice if you're trying to make a story as well. So it, it's kind of realistic in a way, even though you'd be like, what do you mean? Like uh, cheating your sim skills is not realistic. It's an easy way to cheat the skills. You obviously can cheat the skills by typing in other cheats, but it's an easy way to do it. And if you're, uh, you know, not every sim has to start out with zero if you have like a plan for them. So it does kind of make things realistic. You have a sim that's like supposed to be talented with cooking, but they have zero cooking skill. That doesn't really make any sense. You know what I mean? So then you can kind of up that through there and it's just a super fast way to do it instead of like typing in everything in the sheet. So anyways, moving on. The next one is the roommates mod. So I think this is great for gameplay. I actually have a let's play that's very based on this mod and um, it's called roommates. <laughs> so this mod is just really really cool so if you go onto the phone you will have where is it i don't even know um roommate service so you'll have a roommate service and i don't know she, she's doing all kinds of things so basically after you have your sim do that it'll bring up this menu and there are so many sims to choose from it's so cool oh my god there's izzy fabulous should we have him be our roommate i think we should so you can also pick as many as you want so you know you can have as many roommates as you want. We'll do two. You can even have a cat as your roommate. <laughs> Basically, they will live in your home and you will not control them, but it'll say roommate and there's certain things you can do. You can assign them a bed. You can call your roommate home, stuff like that. You can lock the doors if you don't want your roommate in a certain area. And then they also pay 
rent, you guys. I believe they pay like 500 simoleons or something towards your rent, which is so cool. And they do it once a week. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, so here is one roommate. As you guys can see, it says roommate. And then over here, it says roommate. Can you go and repair the broken items, please? Cancel roommate agreement. Agree. Blah, 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 blah. Agreement. You were on cleaning duty. Go and use the toilet before you pee yourself. <laughs> it is late already. You should go to sleep. This is perfect because usually like Sims you can't control will not go to sleep. You stink. Please go and take a shower. So yeah. And then when your roommates aren't home, you can call them home. So I don't know where Izzy is, but that's how the roommate thing works. And then you can click on a bed and you can assign a bed to your roommate. So that's really nice as well. So there's the roommate mod and the next one, which first and foremost, we have to go into here, but first and foremost, before I show you guys the mod, oh my God, <laughs> I am in no way promoting this. I don't even do this myself, but this is just for storytelling and it's the Sims. So pretty much this is a mod that would be great if you have a Sim who is struggling with uh, this addiction. And yeah, so basically this is the smoking mod. So this has come in handy for me. It should come up. Here we go. Okay, so there, there's multiple things. You can get cigars, you can get cigarettes. We're just going to get the pack of cigarettes. Um, here we go. So we can just place this here. And if you're Sim, if you have a storyline, they're struggling with something, then this is great. Same way as you may have a storyline where your Sim's struggling with like drinking. Um, I've done that too for different storylines because like Sims aren't perfect just like real life people aren't perfect. I don't know who should do this. I've been doing so many things with her, so let's continue. Okay, so this is now in her inventory and we're gonna have her go ahead. I know she's doing it in the house, but like, again, it's The Sims. It's not real. <laughs> so she can just do whatever she wants. It won't really affect them, but it will affect her. So she's gonna get a moodlet and it looks pretty, like the animation's pretty good. Um, So, this is, I also like that this is a small mod, you know, if you don't really big mods in your game, but you want like that added, just something, a sim, a, like some, a type, a type of habit your sim can pick up that you want them to try to quit and, you know, stuff like, some, some storyline like that. This is perfect. Okay, so she will get this little, um, emotion and it says smoking, aura, aura, what am I saying? <laughs> Aurora is relaxed and happy from smoking tobacco. So if she keeps doing it, she will get an addiction. Um, I don't know if it'll happen in this video, but we'll try. Okay, so she smoked a bunch of them and now she's addicted. So this will last five days, which again, I think is great for the storytelling aspect. So if you're into that and you want your Sims to struggle with something and have a storyline, maybe about how they overcome it and, um, quit, uh, anything like that, then that is perfect for that. Okay, guys, so something fun for the kids is basically, um, it, this ad, I, I make no sense. <laughs> the, it's basically an after school activities mod. There is already a couple after school activities, but this adds so many more. And this is by Quiet Stacy. A lot of the mods are by Quiet Stacy. Um, I, I'm going to have all the lists, all the mods linked down below. So, you know, you guys can see who the creators are and everything like that. Most of the mods I've showed have been by Kawaii Stacy, Little Miss Sam, Sacrificial, and probably a couple other creators, but <laughs> um, those are the ones I can think of at the top of my head. So this is the after school activities mod and there's two of them. Also, these are both my thumbnails and thank you so much Kawaii Stacy for using my thumbnail. She did, she did give me credit and it just, if I don't know. It made me really happy to see this because it's like in the game, like as the cover photo or whatever for the mod. So cute. <laughs> um, so basically there's two versions here. So, you know, you could do whatever one you want. Um, they both offer different things. Dance, chorus, band, gymnastics, uh, football, soccer, cheerleading, baseball, so I don't know. Let's just, let's just go with this one. And then basically it'll add, it'll go here, uh, just as like an after school activity, just like the regular ones that are in the game. And then we're going to go ahead and promote her because she starts off as an applicant. So basically what you can do, um, is go into career sheets and then career promote, and then you can choose. So let's have her be in soccer, I guess. So yeah, she'll be in soccer trials from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And it'll work just like a normal after school activity, which is so cool. And yeah, I love it. I, I think I think it's great. So then your Sims can have more options for after school activities, whatever, you know, 
great for gameplay because if you are having a sim that you feel like would be in baseball or something then you can go ahead and do that so there's that one and you guys last but not least we have to go into create a sim for the very last one okay so the last mod is the trait bundle so this is also by kawaii stacy and this is so good. So you guys, um, I'll, I get a lot of comments saying, how do you have so many traits? Basically, it is Kawaii Stacy's trait bundles, and I think she has more than one. I'm pretty sure. So I, I'm, I don't know if I have both of them. I don't know. I'm going to link below either both of them or the one I have. So don't worry about that. Um, uh, but basically it adds, it adds all these things. So Gambler does not come with it. However, Gambler does come with the Explore mod. It adds a new gambling thing, which is also really cool. But as far as the trait bundle, you'll get uh, this here ugly. These sims are, are quite ugly on the inside, which makes it harder for them to build relationships. I really like that it's that they're ugly on the inside. That just adds more personality. So I love that. I'm pretty sure all of these come with the game, but you know. <laughs> so then we have angler. We have dancer. There is green thumb, handy, um... There's natural musician, natural gamer, natural singer, there's programmer, sporty, writer. This just gives your sims overall way more personality. It doesn't cause any glitches for me. There's a bad cook, um, there's fun loving, uh, heavy drinker. So that's great for storytelling as well, especially with a slice of life mod where your sims can get drunk. So that's pretty cool. Introvert, there is light sleeper, light eater, uh, natural artist, natural cook, naturally smelly, <laughs> naturally thick, naturally thin, which is cool too because it actually has to do with their metabolism, it says here in the description. So I think that is so realistic because our sims don't really have metabolisms. I do find that some of my sims gain weight faster than others, but for the most part, sometimes it could be very similar, um, you know? So yeah, I feel like this would definitely add more differences um, to your sims' bodies and everything like that. There is Night Owl, there is Piggy, there is Scientist, Sleeper, Slow Learner, um, let's see, Talented, Tone Deaf, Uncreative, Untalented, uh, there is Charming, <laughs> uh, I don't even know, like, am I skipping some that are a part of it? I don't know. Lovable, Mischievous, Naturally Funny, um, Sweet Talker, Talkative, Unforgettable. I love that one. <laughs> so yeah, that is, I, hopefully all the traits, I don't know, but there's, there's a bunch. So that is super cool. Now she has no traits. So what have I done? We're just going to give her those. Um, so that has definitely changed the game when it comes to giving your sim a personality that you imagine them to have. So you guys, that is everything. I have been filming for an hour. I have no idea how long this video is, but these videos always take me so long to like put together because there's just so much going on. Um, but yeah, you guys, like I said, all the mods will be linked down below if you would like to have them in your game. And this was so much fun to film. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you guys use some of these mods or if some of these mods you've never used before and you're going to try out. Let me know. And also let me know if you do use a lot of mods and you're watching this anyways, just because you like mod videos. Let me know if some of these are also your favorite so far this year. Um, I love these mods so much. And guys, if you don't want to get all of these, some that I would really, really recommend is the Slice of Life mod, Meaningful Stories mod, Ultrasound mod, Road to Fame, and probably the trait bundle. Yeah. Like I would love to just say like, oh my gosh, get all of them. They're all amazing because they are. But like those, I just, I find that I use the most. Um, Slice of Life mod is my top favorite mod right now. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I plan to have another sort of mod video with a bunch of mods soon, but it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be focused on something else. So yeah, that's fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, all links down below. There'll be an order from the order that I talked about them in. Um, so yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys all so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much